but they have increased airfares in this time of need. Carol Reed has just filed this complaint with the airline regulator, upset about what Air Canada is charging her parents to get home. They're visiting family in Chile and just had to spend more than $2,000 to move up their tickets. I do feel quite uh, taken advantage of. I had to take it because we, we do have to get, get back home and get back to safety. In a time of a national crisis and a worldwide pandemic, it just really seems unfair and quite predatory, to be, to be honest. We've heard from lots of Canadians with beefs about Air Canada, WestJet, Sunwing, Air Transit, desperate travellers who say they're being gouged to get home. I paid over three times the cost of the original flight, writes one traveller. There are flights available at nearly 50% higher price, says another. The airfares are incredibly high, over $3,000 one way. Passengers may not think it's moral for airlines to charge more at a time of crisis, but it's legal. An air passenger rights advocate says Ottawa should demand that airlines give full refunds for anyone unable to use their tickets due to the pandemic. That frees up seats, drives down prices. The situation here alters the nature of the contract completely. You cannot travel. There's no way you can travel. There's no way you can even travel in the foreseeable future. The federal government wouldn't address questions about mandating refunds, saying again that it's offering an emergency loan of up to $5,000 to ensure Canadians can return home safely. For travellers shelling out hundreds, even thousands of dollars unexpectedly, this consumer advocate is optimistic they'll be reimbursed. It's bigger things happening, and um, I think if we're patient and calm, eventually the, the money and the, um, the return flights will sort out. Air Canada didn't address the Canadian couple who had to spend more than $2,000 to change their ticket, but did announce special one-way fares to help Canadians get home. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.